What is I said? Do you want some walks with your wife? Salah? You have food again, girl, and come back home. <laughs> Chantal, man, I left you at the other apartment for dead for hungry. And as soon as I go grocery shopping again, him come back, girl, you know, see, you know, see, 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 Message me and let me know that you would kiss me. <laughs> you wish. What's up, what's up, people? Wagwan. Welcome back to another video. So, Chantal just uploaded. Right on time, girl. Come just get a break. <laughs> so, you're on time today for the look of break. Anyways, this one is called $200 Grocery Haul in Kuwait Part 1. Uh, is this 200 Canadian dollars, 200 USD, or 200 Kuwaiti dinar? Leave it to our vlogger, the the old time OG YouTuber, not to give any context or provide any like relevant real information to our um audience. But of course, we we'll come to know so this is what we're supposed to expect from Chantal. So we're not even gonna focus on the locusts as them say Jamaica. <laughs> I don't ask me what that means. <laughs> Anyways, people, let us get into this one. Booty booties. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. So today I have for you guys um, a grocery haul that's done completely online. And uh, yeah, I'm waiting for part two to come. We ordered from two different places. Some places had some things on sale. Another place had other things on sale. So we just ordered from both. But this is just um, a weekly grocery. What other means the pass so quick? But Shanta, you have nothing else to do. Nothing else now go on in your life. You mean to tell me so you could carry outside? Shanta, me you want to go outside, you know? I tell her the blue coach, I'm going to tell her you look beat down just the um, kitchen at this point. You mean to tell me so you could carry me out of door, Shanta? Look, I dedicate time for come over here, come, come watch your Shanta and I think, oh, what's I doing in the me? What a bad, I love this. No man, girl, you have to go do better. Grocery, sh grocery shop, everything from this hall, was 25 kv i'll put the prices okay, here in the conversion yeah it takes a long to pass sure 112 canadian dollars 81 usd 127 canadian dollars chantal at this point i'm a part of your audience girl you understand so you're going to get the conversion in a jmd thank you very much so i know how much money we are talking about i may have may I, um lobby for the people in the uk too and the one they must spend european dollars too come girl do the work Stop one. <laughs> Stop one like you have anything else for though. Sure. Canada? Maybe I'll do Australia too. I have some Australian viewers. If you live in a different country, you'd like to. Excuse, excuse me, Chantal. I'm here too. I'm not the only Jamaican here either. So come. I'm certain you have people from UK I watch you. Or other parts in Europe. Come. Put the local UK dollars. The, you may call it UK dollars. Put the, the, the Great Britain. The Great Britain pound. Put the GBP. <laughs> That's easier for me to say. Put the GBP conversion, the European dollars conversion, and the JMD. Thank you very much. Let us know the conversion. Let me know. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to show you what I got here. What's she, what she say? Conversion, US and Canada. Maybe I'll do Australia too. I have some Australian viewers. If you live in a different country, you'd like to know the conversion, let me know. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to. Say, Adam Majestic Girl, Jamaica. I don't want to see the conversion in Jamaican dollars. Thank you. I'm going to show you what I got here and put this stuff away at the same time. Um, that was my dish from lunch. I need to start like doing everything <laughs> before I go do a video. You know, so honest to God, we never did see that edition. I think though, Shanta, but thank you very much for pointing it out. Thank you very much. Ugh. But whatever. I mean, whatever. So, all right. So I'm going to unload here. And this one, I don't know if I'm going to do like two parts. Or if I'm just gonna do one whole one and publish it all at the Girl, same stop time. Stop that move um, all of a sudden. I don't know, maybe I'll do two parts, we'll see. Uh, so I have a extra long grain basmati rice, which is the rice we most typically eat here. Um, this is two kg. I think it was like a one kg and 500 pills or something like that. So I have two kg of basmati rice. I'm completely out of rice. I'm proud of myself. I pretty much, we pretty much used all of the groceries. There was no wastage, there was no what a liar, girl, Chantal. I'm gonna see you make no. Well, see, you still have um bread. This look like one of the bread you get at the supermarket. Co op girl. This look like one of them still. See, you still have bread around here. So I'm gonna see a whole heap of egg. Now, remember, you took up the egg in the, the, the last haul, girl. And then all of a sudden, I'm gonna see I drink pickle juice. 
and I eat. You make the people them elotes and, and you fuck it up. I make me talk shit about the people them. So I tell you, Chantal, you are like a dirty culture vulture, you. You always are jumping from people things, culture, practices, religion, and you don't even take the time to do it right. And that are my problem with it is a fucking culture vulture, you girl. Nothing, there was no waste. I don't know if wastage is a word, but anyway. So that's the rice. I put my rice down there. <laughs> we have two cases of orange juice. These are orange juice boxes, and they're really good. And they're really cheap as well, so we always get these. So Laura really loves these. Ah, like uh, sorry. Sorry, Chantal. You yeah, buy Tetra Pak for what? You have kids? Why are you buying Tetra Pak juices? So you have more juice than fucking rice? Oh my god, that's a... You put them a little bit in the freezer and it's really yummy. I'll tend to those later. I hate putting away the drinks. Why not have Why not have so much bumbo clad plastic? No, you know from when them ban plastic bag at supermarket in Jamaica? We cannot get a fucking plastic bag. You go to the supermarket these days, you either have to buy one of them recycle bag there. I make sure you go with your with your bag prepared or you know step why you just have to carry carry out everything like in your trolley and take your time, pack them in your containers in your trunk if you have containers or offload them in your trunk as is. Why you not have so much blood clot and plastic? When you can eat half a plastic, you have plastic bag, plastic plastic, this plastic, that why go on so. But this I said, do you want some walks if you want? So uh, you have food again, girl, and come back home. <laughs> So I tell the man, I left you at the, at the apartment for dead for hungry. And as soon as I go grocery shopping, I can him come back, girl. You know, see, you know, see something wrong with this? That's too bad. Uh, no, I'm okay, babe. I'm just doing a video. <laughs> That's nice of you, also. I think I got it. The dish was bothering me, so I washed it. Do you guys like your dishes dry on the dry rack, or do you dry them? I never dry my dishes. <laughs> feel like, of course. All right, so... We also have some pepperoni. This is beef pepperoni. There's no pork products here. Uh, we have some chicken mortadella for sandwiches. This kind of got destroyed, but... Oh, they only give you three. Three strawberry Greek yogurts. <laughs> Do you guys like organizing your fridge? I don't. Actually, I don't mind. I like when it's organized. All right, the yogurts here in the door. The lady just dash them in there. And I probably take the time to like stack them on each other or lay them out. You just throw them down so Chantal. Not too bad. Grab water because this is a workout for me, sadly. <laughs> oh, this was all the workout I needed to do daily with the bad so bad. Chantal. If I bring my ass to the gym, go go lift weights, a girl. Come up back and them look weird, eh? Squat and leg press. Chantal, don't use the word workout. Don't play it, my girl. Alright, sour cream. Fresh yogurt. Huge tub. It was like a dollar and a half. That's, that's plastic, bag. Okay, we have some <laughs> mozzarella cheese. One thing Chantal I go get in you know, cheese. Cheese, the girl I go get cheese, man. Never disappoint. 500 grams of that. We have some butter, butter yeah. four packs. I think it's unsalted butter. Frozen. Four but it's a Frankfurt chicken time. sausages. Girl, Frankfurt type name. <laughs> I think um Jamaicans and people in like the UK sometimes call them Frankfurters. Yeah, we know their name sausage. In a Jamaica we probably refer to them as um Frankfurter. I don't know where the name comes from. Both would be six. More so what? I need bigger bags than this. <laughs> Cheddar More cheese. cheese. I want it, sir. Cream cream cheese. Two things of Philadelphia. I'm gonna be making a no bake cheesecake with then you back guys. Then back to back, Chantal, you have to so. girl. I'm excited. I swear to God, me love the cooking something, them girl. I'll do your kitchen all and beat them. Me like me like the cooking something, them Chantal. Keep it up. Some cilantro. Okay. Okay. Oh, that smells nice. Let me put this stuff away. I'll 
I'll risk it. I got too many things in my hands, but I'll risk it. So I don't have to make two trips. Beside Harry's salad things. Cheese. You go here. Oh. Sausages. Blanco. You know, Mona Lova see how other love she show me in the fridge when she done pack all of the stuff in there because me can't can bet say in the chaotic I can only bet in there as chaotic because Chantal na have no kind of organization to go on there so she just had show down things cream cheese yogurt sour cream we're going to put this yeah it fits nicely here Guys, show me another fridge. This, I put my dairy on the top shelf with the eggs usually. Okay, last bag. My cat will love. If I tear off the handle, and she goes to town with the bags. <laughs> okay. Now, what's all this? Oh, drinks, I think. Hold on. So we go what we go shopping what day we bought. We bought um cheese, bread, more cheese, more bread. And today we go buy cheese and bread. More bread. Shanta I know me not eat talk about like no fresh veggies. Me not see a show me no meat. Other than the um the processed meat we stuck down in at the bottom of the fridge um just now. Me not see a show no chicken. No beef, no shrimp. We you say you're not, you're not, not eat pork. Like girl, where the meat? Where the fish? Where the, where the, I don't understand. I suppose the processed food and foolishness we are eat. Oh, I so, icing sugar, garlic paste, brown sugar. Vanilla. Bad to bad. Bad to bad. <laughs> I sit there now. Well, probably, probably three quarters only don't know about. Alright. You see people in Jamaica, well, the Caribbean and all. Well, normally you have like relatives might move away or, yeah, mostly move away. Go like abroad. Mostly in the US. People from Canada, UK and them where they do them thing. But most of people who move from the islands and go in the US do them something. They have a thing where them go shopping at the Walmart, whatever, and they might pack a, a barrel with food and send back home. So this looked to me like when <laughs> when barrel come and everybody get their little bit out of the barrel, yeah, like you're not sure what in it. Yeah, expect where you know your family member knows you like, but at the same time you're uncertain why in there. That is what this is giving. Like Chantal never shop for this. Like I get she get little food and she uncertain what is in there. Something like sugar in a certain boat, girl. Nah, man. I'm gonna be baking. Can you tell? Baking powder. That's so tiny. Lotus. Because instead of graham cracker bottom, it's gonna be lotus biscuits. Have you ever had those? Pizza sauce. Black olive. Shanta, we make. Are we gonna make pizza too? Well, I would love to see you make pizza. Look at all this, this chindo, girl. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Beef bouillon. And Worcester sauce. I love this stuff. This, you know, see, Metal and I said the lady look for the things I'm like, she uncertain. Ah, it's Chantal, I don't know. I feel like I get to get them a good. <laughs> when I'm cooking like anything, meatloaf, shepherd's pie, beef stew, Worcester sauce. Even in bolognese, it's really nice. Anything with beef. Some apple juice. Oh, you bought some apple juice for your sunny boy? Huh, your sunny boy? Chantal, you bought apple juice for him? Oh. Some cream. Some grape juice. No preservatives, right? Grape juice, grapefruit, and a few cranberry juices because these are my favorite. I love them. 
What's your favorite juice? And pomegranate. Cranberry juice is my favorite and lemonade. Okay. <laughs> so that's part one of the grocery haul. Um, I'm gonna finish putting these things away in the cupboards and things. And when part two comes, which has Girl, I want to sit in the fridge, what kind of chaos you put, you, you, you destroy the fridge and not. Girl, show me the rice fridge, what do you mean by, oh, we're going to set the part two. No, I don't want to wait until part two, Chantal. Come on, let me see in the fridge. Are you barely buy anything, all of this at $200, Chantal? I understand, say, um, the price of things gone up, but this at $200. Yeah, man, mm. things rough over Kuwait. Most of the produce, um, and things like that, so... So I'll show you guys part two whenever it gets here. All right. All so right, thanks yeah. for uh, for watching this with me. You're welcome. And to show you how much I appreciate um you uploading this video, Chantal, and that I came and I showed my support. Look, you're welcome. I'm the first. It look like you're welcome, girl. <laughs> Anyways, keeper, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.